Hello, I'm Atubo George, and I'm so, so excited today. <laughs> Praise God. Hey, hey, we're fasting today. If you've not gotten the link, if you've not indicated interest, you still have time now. Hurry up, praise God, send us. And then we've started already. So, so get in the flow and, and let's see how the Lord's going to help us today. Now watch this. Now, let this, you know, those of us fasting today, let this be part of our uh, thoughts. Praise God. He says, but eyes, verse 9, but as it is written, eyes had not seen nor ear heard neither have entered into the heart of man i'm reading first corinthians chapter 2 and verse 9 the things that god has prepared for them that love him and i bless you this month of july thank you lord jesus you are entering into things that you have never thought possible or imagined before i declare to you you know, July begins the second half of the year. Listen, the first half is gone. And everybody, all you can think about the first half of the year is gloom. You know, coronavirus and, 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 and lockdown and confusion and things. Hey, 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 it's over. Praise God. And let me tell you this thing. It didn't take God by surprise. Hallelujah. It didn't. Don't think coronavirus just hit the world and the angels are wondering. We began to pray and God is saying, Oh, um, angels, how do we stop this? Ah, uh, ah, uh, mm -mm. No way. It was all in the plan. Hallelujah. And let me tell you something. God says, My thoughts concerning you are good. So, says, so what good with coronavirus? Wait and see. Oh, what about the people that have died? Relax. Relax. There are lots of things you don't know. There are lots of things you don't understand. But that's why I keep telling you this. On the day of judgment, the first person that is going to be judged is God himself. He will judge himself first before he begins. To, so what do you mean God's going to judge? He's going to bring out the truth concerning his plan to you. So you will see those things you call unpleasant. And then you are going to see the mind of God concerning it. And then you will say, dear Lord, I didn't know. <clears throat> see, listen, God is raising up a new breed of people on the earth. And you will begin to see. That's why it's important you hold on to these months. Because this is the flipping side of the year. See, and that's why we're fasting today. That the, the Spirit of God will find expression through us and bring to pass His plan day by day, even from this month. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <coughs> right. Now watch this. It says, But God, verse 10, had revealed them to us by His Spirit. Did you see that? How? Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. It has not entered the heart of any man. The things God has prepared for those who love him. You know that's why we're fasting today. Because we love him. And he commands us to fast. And we keep his word by fasting. Praise God. So, but God has revealed them. These things that eyes have not seen. God has revealed them to us. Not to angels now us by his spirit not by cnn not by a pastor not by any prophets no by his spirit he has revealed them to us so listen the things god have ordained for you is being revealed to your heart by the spirit of god this is what watch okay what for the spirit such as such at all things yea the deep things of god Ah, this is so beautiful. This is, listen, this is why we pray in the Spirit. You know why? Because the Spirit of God searches the deep things of God. You see, everything in the heart of God can be made known to you. If you are you know, Romans 8 says something. He that searches the heart 
knows what is in the mind of the spirit. And you know, sometimes people are like, oh, okay, so who's the one who searches there? And then the Lord said, listen, anyone, anyone who pays attention to searching, see. So if I pay attention to search the mind of God, I will know what is in the mind of God. Now, but how do I search? It's not by running from pillar to post. It's not by looking for one prophet or the other. It's asking the one who searches. See, he says, for the Spirit, that's the Holy Spirit, searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. So he knows them. So when I develop the character, the, the attitude of searching the mind of the Spirit, searching, searching, asking the Holy Spirit for everything. Oh yes, you can ask him for everything. So what's going to happen to you? Begin to know the deep things of God. And let me tell you something. When you begin to know the deep things of God, one of the first things you realize in life is the peace that you have. Even when the world is falling apart, there's a peace in your heart. You know why? You know the deep things of God. You know what God is doing. You know what He's planning. You know His next move. You know. And of course, you will not be ignorant about the devices of the enemy. <laughs> you will know. So, so you realize, I know his best. I know the worst thing he can do. And, and the worst thing he can do cannot even touch me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Verse 11. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? So man knows the things of man. Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit. Spirit of God. Oh, glory. Now, verse 12 says, Now we have received. I love this chapter too. Watch. Now we have received. He didn't say we shall receive. He said, Now we have received. Not the spirit of the world. Hey. <clears throat> what man, verse 11, For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of a man? So, men's spirit or men's mind know the mind of men see man to man so we know the things about the world so somebody says something oh i understand what you're saying i understand what you're saying hey you're different it says even so the things of god knoweth no man so no man can know the things of god except the spirit of god reveals it to him do you get that so he says now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. The things that are freely given to us of God. I look at this scripture and I'm thinking of the Lord's prayer. See, Jesus said we should pray. Give us this day our daily bread. I love that phrase. That's why I tell people, man, You've got to pray, pray the Lord's Prayer every day. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. It's because of that phrase. <clears throat> give us today. Now, today is the first of July. So, Lord, give me today. And I notice what he said. Our daily bread. He didn't just say, give me today food. No. He says, give me today our daily bread. So, so I know that God knows that every day there is a daily bread to be released to me. Listen, this is why you should never go broke on a certain day. This is why you should never go hungry on any day. You shouldn't! Why? It has been assigned in heaven for your life a daily portion. Have you received today's portion? <clears throat> oh, David knew about it. He said, he daily loads us with benefits. That's why David said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Hallelujah. Don't forget to collect it. You've got benefit to collect today from the Lord. Do you know that? You've got daily bread. Maybe you're there say, I don't even know what to eat today. I don't have any money in my pocket. My bank account is zero. Hey, God has released today's portion. <laughs> so receive it. How do I receive it? He said, now we have received, not the spirit of the world, but the spirit of the world, that I may know the things that are freely. Okay. So, Holy Spirit, I just realize, you, you can even pray like this. Holy Spirit, I just realized from Pastor George reading this scripture that I've got something free 
<laughs> I love that part. Freely giving. To. So he's not talking about your salary that you worked for. Ah, pray you catch this. Narish kabuski barikata. I pray you catch this. Did you see the word freely there? <clears throat> freely. I want you to look at it. Is, it. is it there in your Bible? Freely. Get your own Bible and look at it. Freely. Freely. <laughs> Praise God. What? Things that, that we may know. The things that are freely given to us of God. Hmm. So I've got some freebies to collect from. So I, I don't like free things. <laughs> Whether you like it or you don't like it. In fact, when you don't like it. Now, of course, of course, you know, I'm not just saying go looking for everybody to collect free things from, from them. <clears throat> yeah, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about your relationship with God. So you receive, say, Father, I receive today's portion of my inheritance. It's a free gift from you. I receive my food today. I receive my, 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 maybe your, your transport, my fuel money today. I receive my, my, whatever you can call it, everything free. I receive it today, Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you pray like that. Why are you praying like that? Because Jesus said, give us this day our daily bread. It is your portion. Whether you do anything or you don't do anything, you've got a portion of daily bread to receive today. That's why David said, it is vain to rise up early, to sleep late, to get the bread of sorrow. Why? Because God gives blessings to his beloved even when they do nothing, even when they are sleeping. How do you see something like this and you don't get excited about God? You get excited about God. <clears throat> and you jump into this and begin to receive it. Praise God. So I've got something free. And how do I know it? By the Holy Ghost. Lord, I know. See, though, Father, give me money. No, 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 no. That's not how to pray. He don't say, Father, give me money. He's giving me your... Say, Father, I just realized that you've given me all this thing. I just realized that I've got transport money today. I realized that I've got my means of transport. I've realized that my, my rent is paid. But now, in the physical, you don't have it. So what do you do? Holy Spirit, I know. That God has provided this thing for me. Can you open my understanding? Can you open my eyes to see where it is? Where it has been kept for me? Oh, if you begin to pray like this, you know what's going to be happening to you? You will just realize you are making the right phone calls. It just comes there, calls to so and so person. And then you go, ah, thank God you called me now. I, I, I was thinking about you last week, but somehow I skipped my mind. Thank God you called. There was something I was skipping for you. I was just about to give it out. Please, where are you? Oh, this happens a lot of time to God's children. But if you want it to be constant, walk with this mindset. Let this verse 12 settle in your mind. Look at verse 13. Let's just read verse 13. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual Listen, I don't have time to explain this right now. So we're going to carry it over to tomorrow. This is big. This is big. Praise God. Listen, receive today's daily bread. I pray for a miracle in your life today. Receive it right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.